decision. I'm sorry, decision. Halloween and the last October sky darkens to mask the city. Streetlights appear sudden as fluorescent teeth in a small boy's mouth. In the neighborhoods, mothers are shuffling groups of children towards strange doors, safe candy. These are not the streets I knew as a child when I dressed as Snow White or whatever was big at Woolworths that year. Back then, I wouldn't even eat an apple. I wanted what was wrapped so that later I could spill my loot on the bed and tear it open. So much has changed. I still want mystery, but now candy is x-rayed and I know where I'll be a month from now. No longer a child, but more like those mothers hovering unseen, keeping things sure. Even the promise of sweetness no longer tempts me. Just last week, a man asked me to live in his city, but I looked, around, I looked around at the neat arrangement of my books, and the thought of throwing out address labels made the street seem sweeter here. So instead, I am studying the masks of the trick-or-treaters, guessing to myself what they might be. Some are obvious, snow queens or devils, and others, ghosts with sunglasses, were made up at the last minute out the door patched together like the excuse I just made on a long-distance call. Maybe saying my mother needs me here wasn't such a lie. She's hundreds of miles away, but she needs me in a life we've both grown used to. She shouldn't worry about strangers putting razor blades in apples. She's old, and she's tired of standing in doorways, holding her breath, to, her breath till I'm safe again. Maybe that's what I should have said. And then the next day, left only with November. Leaves, the color of crushed pumpkins, crack under the heels of warmer shoes. Only the hands of forgotten lovers ever get this dry. The earth must be on that part of its circle away from the sun that spins season into season, silent as a landscape made from the bones of trees and the hard November floor. This reminds me of the Christmas I opened a gift, and it was mostly tissue paper. I wanted to clothe it back into its silver wrapping so I could once more believe in its promise. I don't like the gust of my own breath being the only reminder of life, that sudden second each year when I see it for the first time, or realizing again that what I saw in the leaves of October weren't really colors at all. Wow.